Carl out there somewhere. Carl out there somewhere. Okay. <laughs> out there. Well, why don't you put me down for a while? Excuse, hey, where's excuse the rest me, am I in the right line? <laughs> where's the rest of those auction rules? <laughs> the rest of the rules. Step in that bottle. Report. That's me. What's going on by you guys? The guy had one package and one. I think we saved that more than the dope for some reason. Two people standing here with with their eyes covered and sun glazed. Good. <laughs> Hi, Ben. Hi. Great. How about you? Good. You buying or sell it? Yeah. Yeah. Good to see you. This is. Wait a minute. Let's read all of this here. What do we got on? Yeah. I got to use my close up here. Mr. Picars is an official. What are you, Vice President, right? Yeah. I'm Mr. Vice President. How are you? How are you, Harry? Good to see you. So you Someday this will be on TV. Yeah. Well, he's everybody's he's buddy. He's low mileage. He's just got married. Good quality. And, and you'll notice, folks, they're the jovial, and, and it's pouring away. rain here right now. It's not too bad. <laughs> I know. Got it. He's all got right, it. Right. I made him pay. Okay. It. Great. <laughs> Did you have it in Michigan? We didn't make Michigan. No. Yeah. No. We didn't. Oh, that's good. I thought about that. I said, boy, I hope they didn't take it. Oh, is that your, uh, what, what you've been waiting for? Discussed. Yes. Oh, okay. I'm ready to sell it if you don't take it. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Cracker Jack. It's about 11.45. That again will be in the hospitality. A radio lighter. Yep. Called a Lysister. Lysister. Instead of a transistor? Lighter? Nice. For a lighter, huh? Combination of lighter and trans. Okay, we got a little. What's that one called, do you know? I don't think there's any. It's, it's, it's like a satellite um, crystal set with a plunger. It's not a real great set, probably 10. And you got a couple, there was another. Okay, he's got a green one and she's got a red one. Christmas. Match pair there, yes. Yeah. How do you tune that thing in? Okay. Now if you see it good, then it'll come That's a radio. And what is that right there? That looks, yeah, that's a Zenith. I could zoom right in on that one. Mm -hmm. yep. I found some, uh, What'd some you find? tubes that I wanted for radio and uh -huh. high fidelity equipment that okay. I have. I enjoy uh, good music and good uh, okay. equipment. Okay. <laughs> what do you think about that? I'm not, uh, I'm not wet. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not dry anymore. Ah. Good to Fine see you guys. Line, huh? Yes, yes, yes. Good to see you. Who is this guy here? Hi, Charles. Who is this Let's guy? Auctioneer. Yeah, I got a new toy here. Hi, Where's you? your woman? She's at home. How come? Well, I brought Fran with me. You know what the fuck? What you looking at, Bill? Oh, check for a year. Zenith 7000. <laughs> I don't know which chassis it is. Are you in the Zenith? I didn't realize that. No, but a guy, a friend of mine, it's a ham, KK9H, wanted me to look for one for him. Oh, okay. You're not into them, though, are you? I'm not into them. I didn't think so. No. I didn't think so. Great but this is the guy to see right here for Zenith, right? This is the guy to see for Zenith. Yeah. Hi. Yeah, and if you see, the sooner the better. The sooner the better, okay. Tell us about your hat, Bill. Yeah, I'm film. No, I'm not a very good subject. Tell us about your hat. I'm not even filming you. I'm filming that crazy hat. Tell us about it. The hat's, uh, you'll have to interpret Tilt down it. just a hair. What does that say there? It says My Lancaster, kind of amateur oh, radio. Wow. We may have a problem. I could get struck by lightning. Yeah, you it's could raining. Be, uh, you could be yourself. <laughs> you could be attracting something there. Is that what you're saying? What's he doing? He's throwing the rain out, huh? Hi. 
this some sort of a ritual dance or something? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> tuned on the ground and on the antenna side, so you, you know it's it's dual tuned. So it ought to be fairly selective because you've got two caps. Pretty neat. Oh my God! I don't believe it. Another. Yes, is it really? It really is. Look at this. Another Hotspot 14. Where did you find that? Found it in the field. You're kidding. <laughs> You're kidding. Out here today? Yeah, this morning I had it over there. He had a whole truckload of stuff he got out of some warehouse in Chicago somewhere. The only other one I've ever seen. Oh my god. I feel rain coming. Looks like it's in. You know, it's all air and everything. It's dirty, but all air, eh? Well, it needs a few tubes and a dial, and I think it, nothing's cut on it or anything. Nothing that you can't find, right? All right. Very good. And he only paid 500 for it. Yeah. <laughs> well, here we are, nighttime. And uh, believe it or not, it's starting to rain. And believe it or not, people are shopping out here. I didn't think about that. Well, maybe we'll come again. set is original and in excellent plain condition. It was originally a battery operated radio. It's been converted. And because it took several years to make this radio, Rudolph never saw it. He died before he became the owner of it.
And here's an x-ray of that box right there showing that indeed sealed up inside the box is still a factory packaged speaker. Exhibit as always, Doc. Great yes. exhibit. Wonderful thing to do. Yeah, I think. And we here we have a typical tourist in a typical room taking it all in. I think my wife is throwing the camera. I am going to throw the umbrella. Oh, he's in the communications room, this typical Imagine tourist. Imagine that. This National is a fairly common receiver, but not the accessory S-meter. That is very difficult to find. Very difficult. Also, this is very difficult to find. The matching speaker for the H uh, for the, uh, excuse me, for the Howard series. Those are very rare. Somewhere. That one, I've seen many pictures of that in use. <laughs> Both 